So we've now completed step four. We can hear audio coming out of our headphones. Step five is now to add some control over the audio. So we're now going to add some buttons to the system so that we can play, stop, and pause the music that we're listening to. This is done by just adding some GPIOs to our design. So there's uh, no extra features to add uh, elsewhere within the uh, system. And if we look at the schematic of the discovery board, our buttons are on PA0, 1, 2, 3, and 5. So they're all located within the same section of the circuit board. So to add the buttons, we add them in the usual way. It's left click on the pin and select GPIO. Uh, this time we're going to use them as external interrupts. So it will be GPIO, EXTI, and then 0, 1, 2 for each of the pins, rather than just a GPIO input. We will need to make sure the labels are correct for each of these GPIO pins because this will have to match the pre-written code that we will paste in when we patch the example uh, later on in the process. So if we go back to our cube environment and back to our pinout diagram, so I'll start with PA0 first as a GPIO external interrupt 0. And then I right click and enter label. And this has to be J O Y underscore center. And we do the same for P A one external interrupt again and enter label J O Y underscore left. PA2 JOY underscore right PA3 JOY underscore up and PA5 And that's J O Y underscore down. So now we've got all our GPIO pins configured on our diagram. And that should look like this that we've got now. So next we now need to go into the configuration and configure the interrupts for each of these GPIO pins. And to do this, we need to add the ticks to enable the interrupts on each of these GPIO lines. So if we go back to our cube environment and go into configuration and we go into the NVIC and we select 0, 1, 2, 3, and interrupts 9 to 5. So that's our GPIO interrupts done. Now we need to go and check the GPIO configuration. So there's all our interrupts selected there. And we need to add a pull down for each of our interrupt pins. So if we go into our GPIO configuration in the cube tool, PA0 needs to have a pull down. PA1 pull down, PA2 pull down, P3 
PA3 needs a pull down and PA5 needs a pull down as well. So that's our GPIO configuration completed.